What's up guys? <clears throat> Matt from Team Yu-Gi-Oh! Noobs here. Just wanted to bring you guys a uh, trade binder video. Um, our main priority right now are Noble Knights cards. So if you guys have any, uh, let me know. Uh, first off, I got a couple of uh, deck skeletons. The raccoons. Just the three pound Poco. So try to keep these a uh, little neat. Sorry, I'm new to the tripod, so uh, yeah. Three Tan Tan. Three Nimble Momonga. Three Kalantosa. Three Chow Chow Chan. Three Sequala. One Junk Synchron. One Raiko. One Elephant. Two Sandayu. Three Gachis. And two Shining Elves. Uh, we don't have any obedience school in here because we were never able to get a hold of them. But uh, if you want that, let me know. That deck I just kind of fell through. Next we got a Gishki Core, two Zeal Gigas, three Soul Ogre, one Mind August, one Lovey Anima, three Vision, three Shadow, three Chain, I think three Ariel, two Avance, two Beast, three Abyss, three Aquamirror, and then just the one Super Dreadnought Cannon. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys want any of those. Also, for any token collectors out there, I am also a token collector, so I have a lot of tokens for trade if you guys want them. Uh, kind of trying to get some, uh, I, my main priority right now is Noble Knight stuff. I also have these, uh, these two Yu-Gi-Oh! Day Zane tokens I would be able to get rid of for Noble Knights. <laughs> Also, if you guys want the playmat, I'd be able to trade that for Noble Knight stuff too. So on to the binder. Really, it's just a bunch of odds and ends here. That's the uh, number 31 up there in the corner. Sorry, I'm having trouble with the angles here. I'm just trying to. Yeah, it's just a little hard to see. But if you guys have any questions about what anything is, let me know. Don't have a whole lot in the front of the binder. Most of the good stuff's in the back. But I'm really reluctant to trade it unless it is for you know, Noble Knight stuff. I'm sorry guys, I'm limited on space here. If you didn't see this last card down here, it's, it's a little difficult to see on the camera. I'll say. tripod will make it easier. Everything's arranged by rarity and by level first then rarity. Like these are all just commons and that's black rare I think. And these are all level four secrets. I'm just gonna turn the camera so it's easier to see stuff over here. That's ultimate treeborn. Sorry guys, I uh, make sure my videos from now on are better. Secret dandelion right here. Those plague spreaders are all common in mosaic, I think. Uh, Alex or Anthony, if either of you are watching the video, I have another Yaksha set aside for Alex. So you guys don't need to worry about that. Uh, this one... I want to trade because it is a misprint. You know, it's kind of rare to see misprint super rares like this, but you guys can see the letters got cut off a little bit. So it's a pretty cool one. <laughs> so if you guys are fans of misprints, there's that one. All three of those Machina gear frames are first edition. a gold rare, summon a monk out of premium gold. That is pretty beat up, it's an ultimate rare, DD Survivor. That Gaga -ga -ga Magician is the foil is slightly low on it. As soon as I can get it out of the sleeve, the sleeves like to uh backed up sometimes. If you guys can see that the foil is a little low. 
can see up here, you can see half the, uh, you can see the dark symbol. So, uh, yeah. See, so, yeah, I like misprints, they're cool. And then there's a uh, first edition bear, which I'm kind of reluctant to trade. My cousin got that one for me, and I like it. But, you know, if it's for the Noble Knights, he'll understand, I hope. Uh, four Machina Cannons, or Machina Fortress, I'm sorry. I don't know where we got them all. It's a ultra rare Caius Unlimited. It's really beat up though. Probably let it go a really, really low price. Some Chaos Dragon stuff down here. So I am having trouble with the lighting, guys. I got my uh, phone's actually up as an LED. I got my LED light on my phone on right now. It's just trying to make it better. Uh, also, one of the uh, goblin birds up here in the corner. Got a place out of the. Just, they're just commons. The uh, border on that is miscut. As you can see. It's all over here. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah, not a whole lot of exciting stuff in the front here. These are two super solar recharges. They're pretty nice. All the really exciting stuff's in the back. It's uh, Ultra Unlimited. This is Zombie World. It's kind of hard to see on there. It's out of Joey's World. And I got a play set of secret scapegoats here. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make these videos better, guys. I'm sorry. It's just limited space here. Kind of just doing this last minute before I go to bed. It's like 1 o'clock, 1.30. Secret Feather Duster, Secret, that's Dedication to Light and Darkness, pretty cool. So yeah, any questions, just, just ask away. Uh, all the cards up here are all super, these are all super polymerizations, super rare polymerizations up at the top here. So there's that. And then down here, Super Pot of Avarice, uh, Bark of Dark Ruler, Deal of Dark Ruler, or whatever it is, Degenerate Circuit. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Penguin Stun, but no penguins coming out in Primal Origin. It's going to be a deck, guys. There's two secret Solemn Judgments and a Pinpoint Guard. Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare. Three convulsions of nature. I'm really trying, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, Ghost Judgment. It's the first monarch. So it's first edition. Like I said, there's nothing really too exciting in the in the front of the binder because we're not really collecting for trade bait. It's more over for. Usually we just get stuff to uh, use when we're playing. And then just a couple things on this last page here. Giant trap hole, bottomless trap hole, call the haunted, six cents, straight flush. And then all the better stuff is back here. This is my personal stuff. Really don't want to let any of this go for anything but Noble Knights. So if you guys see anything and you have Noble Knights for trade, let me know. It's uh, Ultimate Heraclinos. It's a first edition Ultimate Esadari, it's Chimeratech, Digusto Phoenix, first ed, two Pallet Dynamos are first ed. That's unlimited, which kind of sucks. That's the Cam, it's first ed. Met Caius, that's a first ed, and it's near mint. Emergency Teleport is Unlimited, Ultra, Xyz Encore is First Ed, the other Xyz Encore is Unlimited, so we can try and guys, give me a second, I get it, the Effect Veiler is kind of beat up, I got it like that, I'll value it a little low, uh, that's a First Edition Starter to Jaden, Bubble Man, Couple Pop Duality, it's a gold rare out of premium gold, and then a secret rare out of Joy's World. 
there, guys. My videos will be better. Trust me. Uh, two secret super polymerizations. One's first dead, one's unlimited. So a gold rare dark hole out of uh, Haunted Mine, I think. Uh, ultimate breakthrough skill. Gold rare out of premium gold. Secret rare out of Joe's World. Two ultra rare dimensional prisons. And one secret bottomless triple. And then some side deck cards. Two Ultra Black Horn of Heaven out of Joey's World. Two Mind Crush, two Overworked, two Danny Surgeries, and then a Skill Prisoner. <laughs> so yeah guys, let me know if you saw anything you want. Definitely let me know if you have any Noble Knight stuff to trade. Uh, I just got the Madrat out of a pack this weekend at Locals. And I tried them out, I like how they play, so... You know, let me know. Uh, sorry if I was mumbling this whole video. It's late and I'm tired. Thank you for watching. Comment, like the video, subscribe, send me a message, and keep it strange.